fire. She was slashed across her face and hand when two men burst into the house. The police are investigating but say they've no evidence about who carried out the attack or why in Webster reports. This house has been home for parish curate Father Pat Buckley for the six months he's lived and worked in Larn. He believes loyalist extremists, angered at his comments about local politicians, were involved in the attack. Two men are said to have forced their way into the house. Father Buckley was away at the time, and one of five young Protestants who'd been sheltering there became the unwitting victim. Because she's from the Shankill Road, the injured woman said she preferred not to be identified for her own safety. She explained what happened. I opened the door, and I was, the door was shoved right towards me. I was flew back towards the glass door. Then an instrument had came towards my eye. I was sliced across the eye. I went to save my eye from getting sliced again, and my hand got it. Now, you're a Protestant living here in a priest's home. What effect has this attack had on you? Well, it's been a very bad experience. I don't think it's fair on any Catholic person to have to go through the experience, even though I am a Protestant, but most Catholic people have went through this experience before, and I don't think it, it's definitely not fair on any of them to go through it. Do you think this can only further damage relations between the two communities in Larn? Well, you know, at the, the level of ordinary people, relationships in Larn are not too bad. Uh, but unfortunately, we have uh, here in the town uh, some very, I think, bigoted politicians. And they have been doing their best in recent times uh, to stir up trouble and to spread hatred and fear. And I, this, I think this kind of an incident uh, is a direct result of, of that attempt to spread hatred and fear. The Mayor of Larne and DUP Assembly member Jack McKee has condemned the attack on Father Buckley's home. Mr McKee suspects Republicans were responsible. He says they may have been trying to damage him following Father Buckley's recent criticism of unionist politicians in the town. Mr McKee added that if loyalists were responsible, they'd done a great disservice to the loyalist cause. There have been calls in the Assembly for the abolition of the Fair Employment Agency and the resignation of its chairman, Bob Cooper. A 21-year-old Protestant girl who was staying at the priest's home was injured in the head and hand after answering a knock at the door. Father Buckley has claimed that loyalists were after him because of a long-running row between him and what he's called bigoted loyalist politicians. But the DUP Mayor of Lauren, Jack McKee, has claimed Republicans may have been to blame. Ivan Little reports. Father Buckley wasn't at home when the two attackers arrived. They knocked on the door and a 21-year-old girl went to answer it. The girl, who didn't want to be identified, was one of five homeless Protestants from Belfast Shankill Road who moved in to live with Father Buckley five months ago. I felt an instrument coming towards my eye. I don't know what the instrument was. put my hand up to save my eye and the back of my hand got it. Uh, the two young youths flew up towards the top end of the door. After they had got it as far as the kitchen door there, the dog had come out of the kitchen, which I think mostly, sincerely, the dog had scared them and they bolted back out the front door again. Father Buckley is convinced the ewes were looking for him. I think it may be connected with the fact that uh, recently uh, there have been cars coming and uh, strangers sitting in the cars watching the house <clears throat> for anything up to two hours. And also I've had one or two hate telephone calls recently. Father Buckley only arrived in Lawrence seven months ago after spells in Divis Flats and Kilkeel, where he was never far from the headlines. In Lawrence too, he's been constantly in the midst of controversy, having been involved in an angry war of words with loyalist politicians, notably the DUP Mayor, Jack McKee. Father Buckley has claimed there's job discrimination against Catholics in Lawrence. He's attacked loyalist councillors for not attending a Catholic colleague's funeral. And most recently, he called for Jack McKee to be prosecuted for incitement to hatred over a DUP leaflet which contained an old Sinn Féin oath which said that priests would bless any measures to destroy Protestants. I certainly, as a public representative in this town, would condemn this alleged attack on the parochial house last night. You don't believe it happened? I didn't say it happened. I have no uh, reason to um, think anything. All I know is what has taken place in the press. Uh, and what I've heard over the, the, the press today. What do you think prompted the incident? Well, the alleged incident uh, certainly um, 
uh, has been predicted by Pat Buckley for a number of weeks. He has been alienating this community in the Larne area and he has predicted that attacks could take place on him or on Roman Catholic homes in the town. Do you feel in any way responsible? Most definitely not. I wouldn't accept that I have been stirring things up. Uh, there have been issues that have come up that I have spoken about and I think that's my duty uh, as a Christian and as a priest. I cannot rule out that it was Republicans who done this if it happened at all. But isn't it much more likely, Jack McKee, that Loyalists were to blame? I have no idea whether it could be Loyalists. If it was Loyalists, I certainly would say they were misguided. If I have a duty as a Christian or a priest to speak about questions of truth or justice, <clears throat> then this kind of thing won't stop me. Do you, do you now believe that your life is at risk? I do. I do. I think that's uh, it's a, it's a distinct, <clears throat> if somewhat remote, possibility. A health service union has claimed that patients are having to share beds in two Belfast.